Hey everybody, I'm in Texas. Probably hear some blowers in the background. There's work going on. I got Jeff Montgomery, my partner here. The reason why I wanted to do this is we get a chance to see a lot of stadiums. And I think we are sitting at 29 out of 30 of the active stadiums because this stadium, Texas, which is just massive, uh, opened during the pandemic and it's our first chance to get here. Um, I I'm always interested in what you think of new stadiums because you probably pitched in like 30 something of them and broadcast in all 30. What, what did you think of this place? So this is my third stadium to be in in Arlington, Texas. I pitched in the original Arlington Stadium, the ballpark in Arlington, and now broadcasting here from Globe Life Field. Uh, mixed review. I mean, I'm happy that we were inside. It was mid 90s, record heat. Comfortable in here. So very, very comfortable. We weren't sweating like crazy, but the vantage point from the press box, unfortunately, not very good. Um, I thought That's, the field played great. I mean, yeah. I, they have AstroTurf, or not AstroTurf, artificial turf, but it's a good turf. I think the players liked it, uh, played very solid, but uh, I'd give it a, a good solid six and a half. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, it's got all the amenities. It's massive. It's, I mean, it's really, really a big place. You're right. It's impossible to see from up there. Um, I don't know if fans care about that other than it's, it's like broadcasting from the upper deck of the highest of stadiums. It is comfortable in here. Um, last thing, I, I think, you know, one of the, the beauties of baseball is true for us as broadcasters and the players' routine. I know the first day that I walked in here, we were walking in with Brad Keller, and he had pitched here last year, so we said, where do we go? Players love routine, don't they? Well, you get in routines, and I think uh, especially when you're coming to a new stadium, it's going to have some kind of a negative effect on your routine because you've got to kind of start over, figure out what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. But, uh, you know, players figure those things out. They understand uh, they're playing in state-of-the-art facilities, very fortunate, happy to be doing that. And uh, I guess when we're uh, looking at a stadium that was built, and I don't know how much money they spent on this place, but it's a whole lot. A lot. And as they say, everything's bigger in Texas. This place is the biggest I've ever seen. Well, we, as we're recording this, are off to Denver. Uh, we'll get going overnight, and you can see, uh, Monty, thank you. You can see kind of behind the work's being done. Another team, the Red Sox coming in here tomorrow. You got guys working on the field. You got all the blowers out here. Sometimes just to suck up all the sunflower seeds. They'll get this ready. We'll hop on a plane. We'll be to Denver. That's the life in baseball. Now, I can't say I love the stadium. It is nice being indoors. It is an impressive venue. Um, and I'm excited now to have been to all 30 once again.